Hey guys, welcome back to Bombay TV. Guys, today I'm checking out a Christian man rejects the Bible after reading the Quran. Guys, like I really need to see his own. Like I want to see where he's coming from. I want to see his view. Guys, let's get straight into this. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I've been messaged by various Christian people saying, why would I read the Holy Quran? And I'll say, firstly, because I'm educated. Secondly, why I read it. If you say to me, um, show me, show me a Bible. I'll say, which one do you want? Do you want this one? Do you want this one? Do you want this one? And they're pretty much, they all say Bible, but you know, this has got passages added, took out. Basically, it's been changed and altered. And that's universal. If you ask somebody for a Quran, anywhere in the world, you get the same book. And it's never changed in thousands of years. So, read it. And to the so-called Christians that said, I can't be a Christian because you read the Holy Quran, uh, you're ignorant, you know? And it's ignorance what divides people. If yes, I want to read the Holy fact. Quran, that's my choice. You need to stop being a sheep. You need to learn from these books what's out there to make your own decision what you want to follow. That's why I don't go to church, because I ask the questions you don't want to hear. Anyway, peace, Misha, Allah, Allah, Allah Akbar. Thank you so much. Um, I've asked, been asked this one quite a lot because of my previous TikTok. Um, I mentioned that I used to ask a lot of questions um, so I'll try addressing some of the sort of things what I used to ask what I never really got a good answer for um, one of my main ones was why was the Bible um, written Greek you know Jesus was from uh, Nazareth from Galilee and he spoke Aramaic and there isn't a single Aramaic copy uh, of the Holy Bible you would think that if it's direct words of God then you would get a copy in Arabic or in Aramaic and that's never been the case there is no known co copy in his native tongue hmm guys it actually makes sense that like why isn't the Bible written in America but I would say I don't know but like I don't know where Peter James jumped because I feel Jesus went into the field like Jesus left Galilee yes he went and was preaching the gospel around the world so I felt he left that place and I don't know well if you read the context of what those people were saying it does not actually say anything bad or negative about man or leading people astray from God. I feel it still brings you back to God. But I love what he said. Like, me personally, I tried reading Quran one day. A Muslim friend of mine showed me the app on my phone. Wait, I don't know if I can get it out here. Yeah, it's a Quran Karim. I don't know if I pronounced I I don't know if you can see it from there, but he sent me the app. I tried reading the first passage. And I saw something and I sent it to him. I won't say, but... I sent it to him and he tried explaining it for me, but I would say it is amazing, but I feel you reading the Quran, reading the Bible, actually makes you know a bit and understand it. I don't feel Christianity or Christians are subjected to just the Bible. I feel you can get knowledge about Jesus from different other books and God knowing how you should worship and how you should give him praise and adoration he deserves. I feel you can get it from other books. But why people say you should basically read the Bible because some people actually lack understanding in some sense because you need to have a broad like you need to have a broad understanding, like a big mind for you to actually understand what some things what people are actually saying. When you go and focus on the study of religion and stuff like that, you actually see that a lot of things were told 
about the word that they were never written in the Bible. And so there are some things a friend of mine was already telling me. I was like, but like, this wasn't written in the Bible. He was like, yes, it wasn't written, but it was there. And there are some old, old books that actually back up the fact. So if you read all these things, guys, like, you kind of know that why they put it for, why they just give Christians just the Bible is for you to like start off from somewhere before you go and get more knowledge. But I feel all the knowledge you need, not all the knowledge you need, because God said if we were to write down everything, the whole book in the world won't contain it. So I won't say all the knowledge you need is in the Bible, but I would say the Bible actually gives you a chunk of knowledge for you to actually understand where God is coming from. So guys, do ensure to like, just got my channel. And I actually love the fact that he said he wanted to make more of the search within other books. Like it's actually broadening up your mind. So guys, tell me what you think about the video. Don't you to like, just got my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.